Hey everyone, Tanner Bell here, founder of MakersGonnaLearn.com, a digital die cutting community for you guys that absolutely adore your die cutting machine. Whether you have a Cricut, a Silhouette, or any other die cutting machine that works with PNG and SVG cut files, our membership site is right for you. We love sharing inspirational tips and tricks for using your die cutting machine. And in today's video, we have 10 things you didn't know your Cricut could cut. Now, I'm so excited to share with you guys some of these amazing little tips and tricks that you guys can cut with your Cricut to stretch the possibilities of your machine. We are all about using the Cricut to the best of our abilities, especially the maker with that adaptive tool system. So I hope you find a material or two that you did not know your Cricut could cut. So if you have any questions, leave us a comment down below. But if you're brand new to the channel, give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more tutorials and videos like this one. But let's jump into it. First things first is this amazing freezer paper. If you have never been able to cut freezer paper in your Cricut, it is an amazing um, item to use if you're wanting to ever use fabric paint and create your own stencil using freezer paper. We have its own tutorial for it, so you can check it out on the channel, but you can create some amazing fabric painted stencils using freezer paper. Next up, we have the grocery bags. Now, this is not necessarily a grocery bag, but you know the paper grocery bags you get at the grocery store? Those cut wonderful in your Cricut. And again, you can use it for so many DIY projects, repurposing projects, and you could even use it as a basic stencil if you were trying to do some larger projects and just wanted to paint around it, or maybe use it for some sidewalk chalk projects for outside this summer. Really, the possibilities are endless with your grocery bags. Have you guys ever thought about cutting some customized sticky notes? This would be really great for your planner or really anything you guys got going on. It's nice, lightweight paper, and if you can, you know, coordinate it well enough, you can even incorporate that automatic stickiness on the back of the sticky note. So it's really awesome, and you can cut sticky notes really easy um, with your Cricut. Did you guys know you could even cut duct tape using your Cricut? Now there's a few different ways to do this, whether you're using the fine point blade, but I think personally, I would wanna use the rotary blade. It cuts a lot better. And my only tip for this is after you cut it, be sure to remove any of the sticky residue from the duct tape from that rotary blade or fine point blade. But both I've seen work cutting duct tape. So the possibilities are truly endless when you're cutting your very own duct tape. If you guys know me, I love repurposing different items to make crafts with, and it is still the same when we're talking paint chips. If you guys have never been able to cut paint chips, it is really easy. And if you're always painting different rooms, you find having a huge excess amount um, that you could always get crafty with. So be sure to test out cutting paint chips in your Cricut. I love this idea because it is super awesome. Now my tip here would be to use the medium cardstock setting with extra pressure. It's a little bit thicker than a medium cardstock, but it still should cut perfect with that little additional pressure to the medium cardstock. You could also say a light chipboard as it is a pretty interesting material that is still paper, but just a little bit thicker with the finish on. So if you've never tried out cutting paint chips, it would be really fun to make some home decor or room decor with the kids. For Halloween this year, if you need anything to do with gauze, you can make some really awesome Halloween decor cutting gauze with your Cricut. Now this is one that I would say is pretty much only available to the Cricut Maker users, because again, I highly recommend using the rotary blade to cut delicate pieces like our gauze. And even if you're cutting toilet paper, which I have seen people use with their Cricut um, rotary blade, you are able to do that and you'll need that fabric grip mat as well as your rotary blade. So I would say this is definitely a Cricut Maker specific, but it would be perfect for some any Halloween decor or costumes you have planned for this holiday season. Now, who doesn't have leftover boxes, whether it would be cereal or in this example, boxed rice. 
We love being able to repurpose this as additional chipboard and it's very nice and thick if you guys are mixed media artists or you're wanting to create your own planners and have some really awesome material. Um, this is a great alternative than trying to buy thin chipboard. And what I love about this is you can decoupage right on top of this after you cut it out really easily and we truly do love the look of this and you may want to try out using that knife blade or your deep cut blade to be able to cut this and feel free to use some masking tape to make sure it sticks down on your mat really well another thing you probably didn't know your Cricut could cut is aluminum foil now i'm not sure exactly when you would need to cut aluminum foil but you can always use it to cut some circles, cut some squares, anything like that, and it will cut it, but also it's gonna sharpen that blade for you, which is gonna be a really awesome thing to get a longer lifespan out of your blades. And last, but not absolutely least, I think we have two more for you, is composition book paper. So if you're ever wanting to do some things for your kid's school, you can just rip these pages out and cut it. Now, what I would suggest is a very lightweight paper. Um, there's like a copy paper setting. I would do that and then lighten it. So not as um, heavy pressure to be able to cut these pages out and it would be perfect for your scrapbooking pages or anything like that. But last but not truly least, we don't have any of this to share with you guys, but photo paper. If you guys have not thought about um, cutting out your photo paper, it cuts like a dream on the Cricut and you guys are truly going to love it. So what did you guys think about all 10 of these amazing things that we had no idea our Cricut could cut? And I bet you guys didn't know at least one or two of these um, fun little materials to hack with your Cricut. If you guys enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more DIY tutorials and learning what to do with your Cricut. If you're new here, be sure to check out some of the videos on our YouTube homepage. We have lots of videos for beginners. And if you're not already a member to Makers Gonna Learn, check out that first link down below and grab your membership today. We would love to have you. So I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye.